starting with number three. Okay, the thing with these uh, first problems from 3 to 11 is that they're already set up perfectly. These are already what we call perfect square trinomials. They're trinomials that factor into perfect squares. This one factors as x plus 2 times x plus 2, so x plus 2 squared equals 9. Right, we just factored this side, and it's still equal to 9. So then we take the square root of both sides, and x plus 2 equals plus or minus 3. x equals negative 2 plus or minus 3. x equals 1, or x equals negative 5. So there we go. That is uh, one that has already been set up and already works out perfectly. Um, let's look at one that is just slightly strange before we move on. 4u squared plus 4u plus 1 equals 75. So this one could be factored as 2u plus 1 times 2u plus 1. That equals 75. 2u plus 1 squared, because it's multiplied by itself here, equals 75. Uh, take the square root of both sides. 2u plus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 75. And um, let's see, let's simplify the square root of 75. That's 2u plus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. It's 5 root 3, then we'll subtract 1. So it's negative 1 plus or minus 5 root 3, then we'll divide by 2. Whew, okay. So, other than being slightly up there on the complication level, uh, it wasn't too bad. Um, other than this factoring in a slightly strange way, uh, there you go. Uh, but those were examples of ones that were set up right away. They were already perfect square trinomials. Okay. So these next ones, we're just going to get a little practice at uh, making these trinomials into perfect squares. 22 gives us x squared plus, oh, no, 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 we don't want that one yet, 14 gives us x squared plus 12x, and they just want us to find that c term, that last thing there that would make this into a perfect square, okay? So just remember, watch the previous video if you don't know why or if you're curious as to why if you don't care all we're going to do is take this term here or this this coefficient here divided by 2 we'll get 6 then we'll take 6 and we'll square it and that gives us the c that we need 36 so c equals 36 and why is that because x squared plus 12x plus 36 factors as x plus 6 times x plus 6 that's x plus 6 squared. It's a perfect square. Uh, there you go. So it's a perfect square trinomial. Um, next is going to be number 20. Just practicing finding that third term. x squared minus 13x plus c. The thing that's slightly strange about this is uh, this guy's not divisible by 2. But it's still the same. Just take negative 13, divide by 2. That's negative 13 halves. Okay. Then we'll take negative 13 halves, and we'll square it. And that is going to give us uh, 169 over 4. So x squared minus 13x plus 169 over 4. That would factor as x minus. 13 over 2 squared. Okay. Now, let's actually use this skill to solve some equations, starting with 22. Let's just change our color. 
just for the fun of it. 22 x squared plus 4x equals 10. OK? So over here, we have this blank spot that we could, we could think of it as a blank spot. Let's make it a spot. Uh, and we just need to find the right number to fill it in so that this side becomes a perfect square, and then we can start taking the square root. So we'll just take 4, we'll divide it by 2, then that's 2, we'll take 2, square it, and that gives us the 4 that we need. Okay, now the thing about equations, though, is you cannot just throw stuff in there willy-nilly. If you add 4 to this side, you need to add 4 to this side. That's what we need to be aware of. So x plus 4x, or x squared plus 4x plus 4, we'll factor it as x plus 2 times x plus 2. That's x plus 2 squared. Okay, this is equal to 14. 14. And, let's see. Okay. Uh, we'll take the square root of both sides. So x plus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 14. x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 14, because we'll subtract 2 from both sides. So there's 22. Next, we'll do 26. x squared minus 18x plus 86. equals 0. Okay. Um, you know, the big deal with this one is if we try to factor it, it won't work. But using completing the square, we can find solutions to this equation. Right, so we need to set it up kind of like this was to begin with. We'll have the x squared minus 18x, everything with x in it over here, and everything else on the other side. So we'll subtract 86 from both sides. There we go. So what we need to go here, we'll just take our negative 18, we'll divide by 2, that gives us negative 9. We'll take negative 9 and we'll square it, that'll give us 81. And that 81 goes here, plus 81. And we added 81 on this side, so we have to add 81 to both sides. So this will factor as x minus 9 squared. And 81 minus 86 will be negative 5. And we'll take the square root of both sides. And x minus 9 is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 5. The square root of negative 5, that's an imaginary number. That's plus or minus i times the square root of 5. And then we'll add 9 to both sides. And we get the two solutions as x equals, well, how did I manage that? x equals 9 plus or minus i root 5. So we do not need that. x equals 9 plus or minus i root 5. Right, uh, let's do number 32. It's all the same process every time. Just take the middle term. That middle number, the middle coefficient, b, and divide it by 2. Okay. Just a slightly different process here. We got like one more step added on. All right. The thing here is that I don't like is that the thing in front of t squared is not a 1, it is a 7. So let's divide everything by 7 and get t squared plus 4t plus, I have no shame here, 56 divided by 7 is 8. Okay, so plus 8 equals 0. We do need to divide both sides by 7, but 0 divided by 7 is still 0. So then we want t squared plus 4t on one side and everything else over here. Then we want to find this perfect number here. So we'll bring down the 4, divide it by 2. That's 2. Take 2 and we'll square it. 
That'll give us our 4 that we need. And we need to add 4 to both sides. t squared plus, uh, actually, let's actually factor that factors as t plus 2 squared equals negative 4. Uh, take the square root of both sides. t plus 2 equals plus or minus 2i. Uh, right? Because the square root of the negative that it turns into the i and the square root of 4 is 2. And then t equals negative 2 plus or minus 2i. There we go. And that will do it for the sample problems. I uh, hope that was helpful. Let me know if you need any help. Thanks for watching.